Um, what it means to be a gopher to me uh, is indescribable. Uh, I have so much pride in this school, in this team. Um, we're a family here, and I think that that's what being a gopher means to me. I know that I have you know family members from this team from two years ago, from last year, from three years ago when I was a freshman. Um, and we just, you know, we all look out for one another, and it's more about, it's more than just softball here. And so when I think about being a gopher, I just think about everything that it encompasses, and it's so wonderful to think about that I couldn't, I couldn't say enough great things about this school and just being a gopher in this program and being a part of this gopher family. I had taken another visit, and I was like, I want to check out Minnesota, you know, why not? And uh, it's your senior year, so you kind of feel rushed, so I was like, I didn't know if I was gonna. But I ended up taking my visit, and I remember that Friday night, I told my mom, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to come to school here. And um, we went out to breakfast, my family and Coach Alster, and a French window bakery. And I tapped my mom on the leg, and I said, you know, she knew, and she was kind of giving me the head shake, like, you can do it. And that's when I committed, and I told Coach that I wanted to come play for her and um, the rest of the coaching staff at University of Minnesota. It was one of the best decisions I've ever made. I've learned so much about myself and I never could have fathomed how much I would learn about myself as a person and going through this whole process and I think that's also been my struggle is that you know you can, sometimes you have all these expectations in life and softball and school and this and that and really you just got to come in with you know a great attitude every single day and just really I think it's about being the best person that you can be and that's just both on the field and off the field. Um, whether it's being a good teammate or being there when somebody needs you and you know there's a lot of things that go on in everybody's life over these four years and um, some are good and some are bad and you know just being there for that person in both the good times and the bad times so just really learning um, about myself about who I want to be in life about you know morals and values and just always making sure that you're somebody that you know you want to hang out with yourself so I think that I've really understood that and you know obviously about working hard and just working towards a goal. And yeah, for us it's been you know a Big Ten championship, going to Supers, you know, hopefully going to World Series this year. Um, but it's just if you put your mind to it, you can do it. And you don't necessarily always have to be the best person or the best group of people. But if you guys are all focused and you're all able to put your mind towards one goal and work together and be there for each other and you know have the guidance that you need and you can do it and there's no reason that you can't do it and you know people probably thought we couldn't do it and that's okay because we did so um, I think that just shows like you can do whatever you want as cheesy as that sounds and um, it's kind of cliche but it's really true and it's not just about raw athletic ability or raw ability to do a certain thing in your life it's you know you have to work at it and we worked at it every single day I worked at being a better person every single day being a better athlete being a better student every single day so I just think that you know there's always room for improvement, and that's a big thing that I learned here. What will I miss the most? You know, as fun as softball can be, um, I just think being surrounded by, you know, this year 21 other people, or however many other people, and just always having that camaraderie, and always just like being around. It's the locker room, it's the rain delays, it's the, you know, being on the bus and doing bus karaoke, and just, you know, sometimes it's the being at home and your best friend realizes that you kind of need a pick-me-up and you see something and that they just, you know, left you your favorite piece of candy or, you know, sent you a nice text and you're just like, wow, these people just really care for you. And I know that they'll care for me beyond this, but nobody's ever going to be this close to us and um, literally a text away from walking upstairs or whatever it may be. And I think I'm just going to miss that that feeling of always having your best friends with you and you know everything about their lives and they know everything about your lives and it's just it's so great to know that I've really become such great friends with so many different people and different personalities that I'm really gonna miss that and I'm gonna miss you know just kind of hanging out and making fun of each other we do that a lot maybe we should do that a little bit less but you know and just kind of sitting in the rock locker room and feeling embarrassed sometimes and being able to laugh it off and just kind of knowing that you have so many people that have your back that it just it doesn't matter you can be you and just be whoever you want to be and they'll accept you for it you know I hope that I leave behind that there's just there's no shortcuts to anywhere and the minute that you try and take the shortcut it's just it's not gonna work and I don't I don't believe in shortcuts and I believe that you know it takes hard work no matter how good you are or how bad you are or whatever it is if it comes naturally or if it takes you a little more time than others to get 
to get to where you want to go, but you know, you just, you always just have to work, and it's always just about being a little bit better every single day, and I hope that, you know, I can be remembered as somebody that didn't take any shortcuts, and that was always striving to improve, and just, you know, I want to be somebody that somebody can pick up the phone and call, whether it's tomorrow, or in a year, or maybe in a couple years, they just know that I'm always going to be there for them, and that I care so much about this program. Um, this program is literally, I could not speak enough about it, and I've, I've, just put everything I've had into it and I hope that I can be remembered by that because there's nothing more than every single day that I wanted was to just make this program a little bit better and just create the culture around here that we do have today and I hope it sticks and we're a team that works hard it's not just me it's not just the next person every single one of us works hard and I hope it stays like that and I hope that you know it's just it's all about what you put into it is what you're going to get out of it and um, I think it's important because you can make your experience whatever it is. You can make it great, you can make it miserable, you can make it successful or not. It's just what you take out of it. And I think I want to be remembered as somebody that put everything I had into it in order to make it the best experience that I've had. And I've had a great experience that I would never take back on.